Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Dialogue here on JCN. I'm your host, Dave Pinder, and I am delighted to be back in Pop Up Studio Galleries. And very excited because we're going to have a wonderful show tonight with a new artist for me, LeVar Monroe, who has got truly a, a very exciting series of works up here on the walls. But before we get to that, as always, I just want to remind everybody for my sort of animal tip of the week that it is hot out there. So if you have a dog, make sure, please, that they have an area where there's shade in your backyard um, and also that they always have a constant supply of cool water. The water, you can go try and drink a cup of water that's been sitting out in the Bahamian sun for 12 hours and you're not going to want to drink it. Same thing with your poor little dog. So please make sure that you're always replenishing their water supply so they've got cool water and they've got some shade. Okay, that's my tip of the week for the summer here. Now on to the good stuff, which is I'm so excited to have a new artist to interview. This is great. I was here recently interviewing Dylan and Dee Dee about their show, The Peep Show, which was mm -hmm. just fantastic. I hope all of you were able to get out here and see it. Um, but your work, I'm just blown away by what you've got going on here. Thank you. But I want to ask, how did you get into art? This is always one of the things I want to ask to, to start off my artiste interviews right. is, how did you become an artist? Um, I guess it started off childhood. Uh, I mean, most children create. Yes. They have this, I guess, natural ability or natural urge to want to create. And I think I was encouraged at a young age. And therefore, I kind of pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. Who were you and encouraged by? Our family. Okay, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, I grew up in a, like a junk new household. Okay, perfect. So, so, yeah, so that's, yeah, that, that, that plays a, um, an important part or important role in, in what I do and then um, also music. I grew of up course. around music so yeah but I think it's just a natural knack for me. Perfect. It was like relaxation at the time and now it's relaxation but now it's more business. Yes of course. Also but. Well and that's yeah, one of the things I always try and talk about on mm -hmm. the show is, is that viewers know is that this concept of the starving artist is unfortunately not a, a sustainable model. Yeah, we yeah. actually have to pay money so that our artists cannot be starving, otherwise yeah. they're not going to be artists anymore. Yeah. So I mean, one, it, is a, it is a business as well as a, a calling. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think definitely it, it is. Um, it could be a lucrative business. I mean, it isn't for everybody. Right. Um, there must be a sense of dedication, a sense of, of wanting to do what it is you do. And it, I mean, the business aspects, it, it, it comes, but it doesn't come overnight. So it's continued, continuous hard work, continued, de continued dedication, and I guess, but some people, some people break off lucky yes, at an early age, but others have to work and work and work to get to a certain point to be able to sustain themselves as a visual artist or any type of artist. As any type of artist, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now a question, did you have any formal training or was yeah. it, oh you have, so uh -huh. tell me a little bit about how that, you know, perhaps pushed you forward and helped you evolve as an artist. Yeah, uh, well I started off, um, I started off in the CUB program. Oh you did great, it, yeah. you know, it's amazing the number of incredible artists that have started off through that program, yeah. so that's fantastic. Yeah, so I did probably like a year, year and a half there, and then I um, transferred to Savannah College of Art and Design. Ah, uh, you went to SCAD, okay, yeah. I know a number of Bahamians who have yeah. gone off there. Yeah, uh, so I went there and um, got a BFA in illustration, and then now I'm about to go to Washington University in St. Louis. Oh, incredible. To pursue my MFA, so I start the end of the summer. Perfect. Yeah, so you're, so and that's a two-year course or yeah, two-year, two yeah, course MFA, course. yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, yeah, that's incredible. So. It's you know again, it, it, these are the sorts of artists that, or I mean, I love having all artists on, mm -hmm. but seeing the hand into you're not willing to, to just let it go at the level you've reached. Oh, yeah, you're continually yeah. pushing yourself to, to learn more. Yeah, I think it's very very important in this day and time. You know, um, I mean, it's not a must that you get a master's degree or even a bachelor's degree. I mean, I know many artists who never. Who's, who probably hardly finished high school, but they're doing extremely, extremely well. They are considered self-taught artists. Yeah, but I mean, for me, um, I think it's important because I'm at a kind of a point in my art where I'm kind of, I guess, shifting a bit. But the area I want to shift in is more contemporary. Ah. Yeah, so the, the drawing on the wall 
I mean, the, the, the flat images on the wall, they, they work, but that isn't it for me right now. Well, and I think this is a great way to actually start off talking a little bit about this exhibit, which, again, let's just give the audience, I guess, a little bit of knowledge. When is this starting? Uh, it starts, um, actually, today is the official okay. yeah, opening, but the public reception is July 6th. Okay, and that is a Wednesday, Wednesday so at, yeah, from 6 to 9. From yeah. 6 to 9. Yeah, okay. at pop-up. Perfect. Yeah. So, again, you're going to have to come here. We're going to try and give you a little bit of uh, a viewing now, but hopefully it's just going to whet your appetite to show up tomorrow for July 6th, the, the grand opening of this exhibit. Now, a question is, you, the piece behind is, is more, I suppose, 2B? Is that the correct term yeah. for it? Yeah. I'm Where, but so many of your pieces here, and as we walk around, you'll see this, are 3D. And mm -hmm. it's interesting to hear that you come from this Junkanoo background. Yeah. Because I think there are a number of Bahamian artists who maybe have this capacity for mixed media uh -huh. even more than other places. You'll see that there's little glittery bits in, uh -huh. shiny uh -huh. bits and all uh -huh. of this. And it, while it does not look anything like a Junkanoo piece, it sort of evokes a tiny bit of that Bahamian spirit within the pieces. Yeah, it's still, yes, definitely the influence. Yeah, like the use of feathers, the use of, um, I'm using 24 karat gold leaf. Ah. Uh, it's, you know, with Junk Are we using that in Junk Canoe these days? No, 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 I was going to no, say, because no, Junk no, going to no. get expensive real yeah, soon. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not, but I'm using it in my work. That's yeah, awesome. and I'm also using, like, gold pendants, thanks to my wife. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and, and the glitters, and so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play with the, with the flat color versus the, I guess, the shimmer, the gold, the glitter, the shine, that type of stuff, so. Yeah, Excellent. but but it kind of aids in the communication of what I'm I'm trying message I'm trying to communicate to them. Well, the and let's talk a little bit about that message. So obviously, if you can't see the name of the exhibit is here behind us, it is called Invasion. Yeah, which is just a very provocative name. I do love pop up because all the exhibits that are going on here, it seems mm. peak show invasion. Yeah. You feel like you want to know what's going on. So yeah. tell me a little bit about what your your thoughts were for this yeah, show. I'm basically Invasion. Um, it the inception of it is kind of kind of uh, unusual, I guess, for the Bahamas. Um, I reside in North Carolina. Okay. And um, I always observe there being like knocked down or people shooting there for no reason. And they are considered pests. Right, they're an invasive species. An invasive almost, species, yeah. but what we as human beings must realize is we are building in their once habitat. And for that reason, they have nowhere else to go but in, in people's yard or in the road or that type of stuff. So that, that sense of invasion from the human aspect is what I began communicating. And then um, I, as, I, as I continued to work, I kind of tried to bring it more home as in NASA. And I just thought on the notion of Christopher Columbus and the Arawaks. And the whole discovery thing, but for me, discovery, his discovery, his so-called discovery is an invasion. And basically, um, that's how most of the this series of work kind of, kind of, the inception came from that whole notion of the invasion of, 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 of species of lesser, intelli of lesser intelligence, or who seem to have lesser intelligence. Period, so. so starting off with a more general concept of us as humans with our urban sprawl invading yeah. other the environment and Pretty much. other animal spaces, mm -hmm. and then getting much more specific to make it Bahamianized yeah. with the, the colonization Same, yeah. of, of not just us, of course, but mm -hmm. the, the whole Western. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, that's basically um, what I'm trying to communicate with the exhibition. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. a big, big picture concept for sure. Yeah. So it, I mean, I, I love having these conversations with artists where you are taking something that, you know, there are literally thousands and thousands of very large books, whether philosophical yeah. or historical, anthropological, sociological, mm -hmm. trying to discuss this. And sometimes just with a six by six piece of paper, yeah, you, you can. can actually communicate those comments yeah, or the, yeah. those concepts so much more effectively. Yeah, but what I was trying to do too is just get rid of, of the romanticized story. You know, the one-sided story, and let's just tell the truth. I love it. Yeah, it's great. And, yeah. and, and get across all sides of the story. I think that's always one of those yeah. important, important aspects. 
Well, we are going to take a quick break, but then when we come back afterwards, we're going to continue this discussion and look at some of uh, LaVar's works up close and personal so that you can get an idea of these amazing creations. Hi, we're talking food,